Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tabletnews.net broadcasting. What's up guys, this is Johnny for tabletnews.net. Today we're going to do our comparison between the iPad 2 and the new iPad 3rd generation 2012. And if you think I'm unboxing here the or taking the plastic off of the 3rd generation, the new one, you're wrong. We already did the unboxing of the new iPad 3rd generation and you can check that out here. So this is a new iPad 2, don't get it twisted. And if you put them side by side, you will see almost no differences at all. It's uh, slightly thicker, but uh, really hard to see from the outside that it's a new iPad. So here you see a little bit better the 6 millimeters that it's thicker. But from the back, there's no differences really and uh, if you turn it on you start to realize this is a different a screen maybe a little bit different fonts are crispy and clear to read so that was the first thing I realized but let's go through the settings real quick and while we go through the settings let me tell you a little bit about the uh, specs the new iPad of course has its new uh, retina display with 2048 times 1536 pixels and uh, 264 pixels per inch which is uh, twice as much as uh, the iPad 2 with 132 pixels per inch and a resolution of uh, 1024 times 768 and Apple's 30 pin connector remains so you will have to get yourself an adapter to hook up a USB stick or an SD card. The new iPad sports a dual core A5X processor with quad core graphics compared to the dual core 1 GHz A5 processor with dual graphics built into the iPad 2 which also comes with 512 megabytes of RAM compared to the new iPad which comes with a gigabyte. So the first thing I'll do I'll maximize the brightness for you to see the difference. Turn the auto brightness off and let's go into Safari and do a quick browsing test let's go for example Twin Gadget for example go okay the new iPad seems a little faster but both very nice very quick but you see that the colors and uh, the sharpness on the new iPad is just beautiful. But both of them are very fast responding, very quick, as you can see here. And also the speed is very similar. But especially fonts are just a lot crispier on the new iPad. You can really clearly see that. Let's look into maps. And also here you see that it feels a little bit crispier not a huge difference in this particular app but you do actually see it let's check out some YouTube videos well really hard to tell a difference let's look at a trailer from iTunes for example Not easy to tell the difference. Let's compare the speakers on this next video. So as you can hear, they made some major improvements to the speakers. That's nice. Let's look at some photos. Photo stream later. Whoops, no photos. Okay, let's go outside, take some pictures. Okay, so we just came back from the zoo to have some different kind of pictures than we usually have and also some video material, so you can check that out. And here are some pictures. And you see the new camera just does way better pictures. This is the iPad 2. And this is the picture we took with the new iPad.
iPad 2 and the new iPad. Since the camera now records 1080p videos, we of course also shot some videos and you can check them out here. So this was Johnny for TabletNews.net. If you enjoyed watching this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Take a look at our previous videos and thanks for watching. TabletNews.net Broadcasting.